My name is Scott Kimberly. I'm an attorney in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, my practice is primarily uh, focused on criminal defense and family law. My name is Thomas Simeone, and uh, right now I'm the managing partner at Simeone and Miller, which is a firm in Washington, D.C. So once the case is wrapped up, we have a duty to keep the files. The general rule of thumb for lawyers, and again, you have 50 states and DC and territories, there might be different rules here. The ones I know, the general rule of thumb is you have to keep it for a reasonable period of time, and most lawyers use five years as that period of time to hold the files in case your client loses one or you know needs a copy of this or something flares up in the case. You have an ethical duty to keep it for five years. Attorneys in every state are bound what, by what is called rules of ethics. Um, I practice in Tennessee. My office is in uh, a county just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And here we are bound by what's called uh, the Tennessee Rules of Professional Conduct. For the most part, a lot of states are going to have similar ethical guidance for attorneys. In Tennessee, our rule is also five years. So most lawyers who are smart about this keep it at least for the period of time from the statute of limitations for legal malpractice. So here in our area, that's three years for most cases. Virginia, it's five years. But ballpark, three to five years, I would keep the files just to have. Uh, two important notes. One, that five years is provided as guidance by the board. And two, any attorney both can and should uh, make sure that that period is explicitly set out in a contract with the client so everybody is on the same page about how the client file is going to be stored and importantly, how that client can retrieve their file at any point they wish. At our office for years, we wanted to be what's called a paperless firm. We wanted to have um, the ease. We all run on devices, tablets, iPads. Um, our documents go to the cloud and are shared. I won't name the vendors because I'm not trying to market for other companies, but we have shared services between our devices that we use to simultaneously access information from our office, from a courtroom, from across the state, from across the country. At our office, in our representation agreements, we make it very clear to clients that our client files are held in the cloud. They are held electronically. Any client who requests their file will have all of that electronic documentation placed onto a disk and given to them at any point they wish. And as part of that, what we do when we receive documentation is we scan it in. And then from that point, we will make the original available back to our client. Or if they do not want it, it can be shredded because if that document can be reproduced by hitting print. We won't want to do that. In the old days, we actually would keep the hard copy file and we would just put it in an envelope or wrap it up. And we'd hold it after five years, we'd go through them all and all the ones that were old, periodically throw them away. Now what we're doing is, um, we are simply scanning the files. We send them to a scanning company, they scan them all, turn them to a CD or a disk drive, and then once we verify that we have them all, we save them to our computer, and then we shred the documents themselves. And what I do is I put that actually in my retainer that that's what I'm gonna do, that I'm going to immediately destroy documents once I keep a copy. Uh, but if you client want a copy, you know, the, the documents, you can have them. Most of the bulk work is done off by a different company, just simply because they've got the scanners and people in the labor to take a bunch of bunch of boxes. So what we do is we have a part of our office where we just pitifully have five or 10 or 15 boxes, we call the company, they pick them up, and then they do their process. Uh, ironically, our status as a paperless firm has made us very popular with shredding companies because what happens is we'll have a lot of papers that get dropped at our office and we don't want to keep them our informal rule and kind of the way we view it at the office is if you can reproduce that document by hitting print it's going in the shred the shred box and so we have a regular shredding event where we will maintain uh, those documents for uh, until we are going to dispose of them appropriately. And then from that point on, our maintenance of those files would be through an electronic storage system. And then the final thing too is just, if there is a claim against you, you wanna see the file. You wanna have it to be able to, you know, cause we're pretty confident in what we do. So I wanna see, you know, I wanna be able to be able to show a file and say, look, here's the letters we sent out, here's the medical records, uh, here's the letters from you, whatever. But to have a claim against you and not have that information, uh, and you don't, and you don't know what your client has, or you have to go and try to get it from other parties, would really be an uphill battle. Always, I would recommend, especially with scanning the way it is now, keep the file 
scan it, at least scan key documents and so forth, and then forget about it. If you're going to move on to other cases, and somewhere down the road becomes relevant, you want to have a copy of that file.